Hey guys, Ben here from the Fiberglass Factory. Today we're just going to be talking about waxing a mould. Before we do, if you could hit the subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. This is a wax that we we use called Honey Wax, and the reason we like it is because it releases better than other waxes that we've used. It also has its disadvantages as well, but mainly it's easy to apply, easy to buff off, and it produces good releasing parts. So we've been very happy with it. It does tend to build up the wax on the mold more quickly than some other waxes. That's only a small disadvantage for us and, and we prefer to use it over other waxes. When you're storing it, just be careful to make sure you've got the lid on tight and that will stop it from drying out from you. That'll help to extend the life of your wax. So you don't really need that much wax on there. All you have to do is get a good coverage. Um, I've got a lot of wax on there. It doesn't have to be like that. All you have to do is have a little bit on your rag and, it, and it'll go the, the whole entire way. This is overkill. If it was an old mold, I would lather it on. But if it's a used mold, like this one, you don't need this much wax. You only need enough just to, just to cover it. And then this, this particular wax says on the tin to let it haze and then buff it off. So I'm sort of gonna take some of this off with my rag. Then I'm gonna leave it for a minute and then we're gonna wipe it off. I am also waxing the edge of the mold as well. That will help when it goes to demolding the part because anything that's stuck to the edge will come off relatively easily. Without that, then it'll, it'll make it more difficult to come apart and it will, over time, damage the mold more easily. Okay. All right, so we've left it on there for a few minutes. Now we're buffing it off. So we're looking for a nice shiny, nice shiny finish, glossy. Making sure we get all the wax, all the residue wax off. And then there'll be a little bit left on the surface, which will be, which will protect the mold, help the part crack out very easily. All right. There we go, that's looking really good. That's ready to apply a gel coat and then make our part out of. 